Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You are here with Peter Promo, and I'm here with my special guest. He is a resident in several different areas in the United States. He's a globe trotter. He is all over. He's got a unique style, a unique brand, and he has a debut EP coming out December 13th on iTunes and all digital platforms. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you and let him have the floor. It is Will Truno. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Long time, man. It took a long time for me to even get to this point right here. You know, because I remember at a point in time, you didn't even want to let me in the studio. Uh, you know, but I appreciate that because you were just looking out, wanted me to get myself together within myself. You know what I'm saying? Telling me, like, yo, you ain't ready. You know, so I appreciate the, the push that you gave me. Plus, I appreciate the the more work that you put into me, you know, shit. Well, so, tell us, tell us a little bit about your brand and, and, and who you are. Let's say this, let's say this people is going, you know, the people who are in your family and your fan base are going to watch this. But let's say there's some people who who have never even seen a Will Juno performance or video. Tell us about who Will Juno is. Well, as you can tell by my phone going off, I'm a busy person. I'm gonna get get a little bit, a little bit busy. Uh huh. And where'd you but, get? To, what's your inspiration behind your music? My inspiration about my hu- my music is my life, like what I what I go through and shit. You know, my experience too. At the same time, you know, that's my my other thing. My experience. Um, all I know, I don't like I said. I it's my life. Like I know people be like, you don't listen to the radio. Who your favorite rapper is? And this, I don't have a favorite rapper, and that's that's the right. honest truth. Well, let me say this. So you pass that to you there. Um, I think that what a lot of labels, what a lot of um, you know labels and, and and bookers, what they're looking for is who you are, and and, and they they want to put you in a box, and that's okay because you're you're a brand, and people need to know what they're getting into. So let me ask you this: past, present. If there was three artists that people could say, I like him, I like him, and I like them. And if I like them, I'm going to love Will Juno. Who would those three artists be? And they don't have to sound like you. But the point is, if there were three artists that people could say, oh, I like him. I like Jay-Z and I like this guy. And, you know, and, and if they like those three, they'll like you. Who would those three artists be? I'd say Kanye West. Because I'm going to talk about real stuff. Uh, Lil Wayne, because I'm a punchliner. I punchline the shit out of something. Mm-hmm. Anytime, anywhere. And I say the game, because I keep it real. Okay. So Lil Wayne, the game. That's three big names there. Yeah. That's three big names there. Got a, got a, got a heavy shadow in there, but. Hey. Uh, I'm ready. Exactly. Now let me ask you this. More about the Will Juno, the character, the personality. Where did you come up with the name? Well, actually, true story. I came up with the name because my last name, Junior. But I took the R off. Okay. And. Like everybody be saying, like, oh, you made the I silent. Yes, I made the fucking I silent. Okay. So it's J U N I O, but the I is silent. All right. And when I was like, Juno, I kept saying, Juno, Juno. And they was like, oh, you ain't see the movie, Juno? I'm like, no, nigga, there's a movie about Juno. So I ain't knew motherfuckers being funny. They made a movie about your life. Yeah. With Michael Sarah in it. (laughs) I knew niggas being funny. So I I finally found the damn movie. And when I put it in, it's a pregnant bit. Yeah, pregnant woman. Name you. Pregnant, pregnant woman. I, please, please forgive me. That's okay. So we have, um, we have our name in place, and you have a natural talent, a natural gift for this. What was the catalyst that set you off, that set that fire and saying, you know what, I think I can do this? What was that? When the first time I got a reaction... Like I was just joking when I was signed, when I was with Young N T playing around, like I really didn't take it serious. I was joking, but when people was like when, when people was like, Hey, you 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 nice with it, like you nice and you funny, like you nice with it. So that's when I started getting the feedback from the people, that's when I started like, okay, let me take this serious. Like that's what set the fire in me. Yeah. The feedback that the people gave me. So you enjoy being an entertainer. Yeah. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. And what, what, what does that feel like for you to get on stage and see all of those people, whether it's a small crowd or a big crowd, and you have control and you control their happiness and, and, and the emotion that you want to put in? How does that feel? It, it, give, it gives me goosebumps, you know what I'm saying, to see how I can do that. You know, it, it, it really does something. Like, I feel like, I feel like I can really touch people at the same time as get them good music, you know? <clears throat> and uh, like I said, that when when I moved, when I got on the stage at the first time, yes, I have butterflies. Yeah, tell us and, about that. And yeah, I was nervous when I got on the stage uh-huh. first time. I was uh-huh. nervous, but I still stuck with it. And when I was looking at the crowd, that's what hyped me up. Like, okay, they feeling me. So that's what gave me confidence. Yeah. Like, you know, and even if I did got a bad feedback, I, 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 may, I maybe would have still, okay, I wouldn't have walked off the stage. I kept right. going. Stage you where know? you feel home. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. But let me talk Let me talk to you about this now. We've talked about some positive uh, things um, that you've done and where you are and whatnot. But, you know, let's talk about maybe one or two of the setbacks that you think were really um, negative impacts on what you're trying to do with your craft because we obviously see that you're at a really positive place right now creatively with a new EP out and uh, obviously to get to a great place greatness demands greatness so you obviously had to you know overcome adverse you know adversity so what, what were some of those you know I was you know going through hard times like all, all great men go through hard times you know and well, you know what I'm saying, within my life, that's, you know, I don't really want to, like, put it all out there. But my, my setback was me worrying about other people and not myself. So you're a person to, that cares. Yeah, yeah. I, I am to the uh, extent of point now, to a extent, because I'm, I'm running out of room, like, I don't care no more. And I hate that I'm starting to feel like that, but... I feel like people make you feel like that because when you do something for somebody and you ain't you ain't gotta ask, but you just expecting them to look out, you know what I'm saying? You ain't I'm, I'm not that ask, but when they give you they ask to kiss, that make you feel some type of way. Like okay, well, f- fuck you. Yeah. You know, and that's happened numerous of times. So that does something to a person within the side, them, off rip. And that outside stimuli can have devastating. Uh, properties when you're doing doing the creative tip but i think that you came back from that flipped it on its head and used that for your creativity for this new ep that's going out these new four songs exactly please forgive me i am a little tipsy okay let's bring that back now let me ask you this because this is important those songs that you got coming out you got four of them coming out tell us about one of the signature tracks rich tell us about the inspiration and where you were with that song where i were when i started writing rich I just started thinking like, okay, everybody can relate to what somebody going through. So how can I put this in perspective in a song? And because I'm a, I'm a nice songwriter, and right. that's what I do. Right. I love writing, you know. And so I sat there, and I'm like, I'm just gonna talk about my life, like for real, and add a little some good, some 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 hard, like good words to wordplay to it. And that's how I started coming out. It just started coming out of me, and I just started talking about my life. Now, this EP, what does this mean for you? Is your goals, your accolades, the things that you've accomplished in your hip hop career? Well, what does this What does this EP mean for you? Well, this is this is my first EP ever. Out of I've been doing music since two thousand and fucking seven. My first EP ever. Big moves. Yes, yes, yes. Big it really moves. Is. It really is. And this, it means a lot. And it, it, it motivate me to do more and push this because I want to see, I don't want to be that person to be like, okay, I put this EP out and it ain't really, I ain't really do nothing. I don't want to be that person because I got a voice on me too. You sure do. Uh, as, a, as an artist and as my job as an artist is to put my work in too, is to put it in people's face also. So, you know what I'm saying? That's my job. As I feel like my first EP, I don't care what I got to do, whatever. I'm going to do, go to the extent with this 
because I feel like you know what I'm saying. I'm getting good feedback from not not just from family, from from um, people that don't even know me, and people that's really. I got people that's hit me up on Instagram right now, really happy that I'm finally coming out with music. After they was really, I got I got stuff to saying that they was really mad at me because I was giving people snips. Yeah. You know, 50, 50 seconds. Of understand. Snips, understand. You know. Your second uh, single that you're putting out, it's called Her Galore. And I know that you have a, you know, something to tell me about that one. The music video is dropping, I think, in a couple of weeks to coincide with the release of the EP. Talk to me about Her Galore. Her Galore was, it was really based off a true story. You know what I'm saying? And it was my feelings, you know. <laughs> Your feelings, deep in. Hey, it's my feelings, you know. And that's how I feel because at the end, yes. Every man gets that one person and he'd be like, hey, I ain't about to be with her, but it's fun being with you and you bad. But I know this ain't about to last for long. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I was, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the song, when I say, yeah, you know, when I start going off like, yeah, it was just me. Yes, yes. I said I'm a dog, whatever. Every man go say, every, every man ain't going to admit they're a dog. Yes. You know, so I think people go going to feel that because, hey, I'm just saying, you know, and that's the part of, that's why I want to give people the real, like, you know, I don't want to come off fake for nobody at all, you know, not to no women, not to no kids, not to no teenagers or old people, whoever. Yeah. It's good that you're not following with any agenda, just being genuine into what you feel for your music. Exactly. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of last minute uh, little word association tests. You just, I'll give you a word. You tell me the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? All right. Hip hop. It's dead. Detroit. It's on. The music industry. Need me. Extra women in your life. I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Takashi 69. Woo, -hoo, you rat. <laughs> <laughs> Freestyle battling. Who won it? Mm, Mount Clemens. I'm ready to take it over. <laughs> That's more than one. <laughs> um, your new EP. Please, you got to go copy. Your, your, your past. I got to leave it in the past. Your future. I'm ready for it. What you want everyone to think about when they leave this interview. Hey, I want to hear what he's talking about in his music. Okay. Well, there we go. We're going to show you guys a small clip of his new music video. And check it out. And we'll be back. Still putting her like shit. Scared y'all niggas gonna snitch. All I care about is my kids. Never wanna call it collect. Yeah, nigga, I'm blessed. No beef on the internet. I pull down on you. Got a hacker that find your dress. Can't see though why you hating though. I'm Brian, do it. Can't see why y'all out here focus on nigga what I'm doing. I'm mad it. I'm mad it. About to ride like Kyle Petty. Pistol on me, knife on me, might stick you like a diabetic. Where I'm from, brick man is the only person with a hard feeling. But y'all pussy, y'all tell him, y'all rats, Tom and Jerry. I'm just trying to get rich, trying to get rich, trying to get pissed, trying to get pissed, trying to get rich, trying to get rich. Okay, guys, that was a sneak peek at the new video from Will Juno. He's got his new EP coming out December 13th, 2019. It's his debut EP coming out, and I hope that you guys will stream it and hopefully buy it. Um, what is your last word you'd like to say to the people out there watching? Well, last word is, you won't regret it. Whatever, how much it costs, you won't regret it. My last words. Okay, everybody, you're here to hear first. It's Peter Promo here with Will Juno. New EP, Forward, comes out December 13th on iTunes and all digital platforms. I'll see you guys next time, and be yourself, because everybody else is already taken. taken. Legion of Doom, baby, we're still here. <laughs> and I put you to work. How about you take some time off? And I put you to work.
Take some time off your job Pull over on time Pull your panties to the side